What's up, YouTube? Let's get right back into the game. Let's get it. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and check out Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame making the final battle. Here we go. Oh wow, it looks great actually. Hey Marvel fans, I'm Ryan Panagos aka Agent M and I'm so excited to be sitting here with VFX supervisor of Marvel Studios, Avengers Endgame, Dan DeLue. How you doing Dan? Doing great. Uh, so there's so much to talk about in this film. You worked three years on it. I Let's just dive right into some stuff. You ready? Yep, let's go. You know, I think about this big battle. How much creative input do you have in, in seeing all this come together? You know, you get kind of a, a rough idea of what the story needs to be. You get a rough idea from like Joe and Anthony. It's like, okay, like, you know, this, these are the beats we want to do. We want the compound to blow up. We want to make a crater. And, you know, and this is kind of where the dreams come true, you know, in terms of like growing up, loving comics, loving films, and then kind of getting to design these fights. You know, when you're, you know, kind of describe it as you got your, you had your action figures you had when you were a kid. <laughs> oh, and now yeah. they're like, you're grown up, you're doing the same thing. Wait, so. this is cool. You can see like, it's rough, the rough draft of the visual aspect of it, like. And then kind of getting to design these fights, you know, when you're, you know, kind of describe it as you've got your, you had your little action figures and you had when you were a kid, <laughs> and now they're like, you're grown up, you're doing the same thing, except with real people and stunties and CG characters. <laughs> and you kind of sit down and start brainstorming. It's like, well, what, you know, what has to happen? You know, and it's like, you know, Cap's gonna pick up Molyneux. He's, he's going to pick up, he's going to pick up the hammer one way or another. <laughs> the last thing I do, he's picking up that hammer. <laughs> Symbol. So you get to the moment where the portals start opening up. How many layers are going on in a shot like that? Uh, it's pretty, I mean, astronomical is kind of a, an easy way to describe it. I bet the rendering process, like if I tried to do this on my computer, it would just explode. <laughs> like my computer would just completely obliterate. Like it would be impossible. <laughs> We had our big days where we had everybody there. You know, you kind of see it in the big kind of masters and when Caps is assemble, everybody's standing there and you know, where we had all the actors on set. And, oh, and then yeah. depending on who we had, it's kind of dictated what would be CG, what, what wouldn't be. We had like a dirt floor. We had some wreckage and rubble, you know, and some of that we would replace depending on if it you know, made it easier to light the shot or the composition would get better. But when you get into the, the portal, and some of that we would replace. Yeah, that part, like, sometimes I forget Thanos is a completely CGI character, but Josh Brolin, like, played him so well. He, he made Thanos, like, very believable. Like, I felt like this, that he was a true threat. Like, I didn't feel like I was watching, like, a cart, like, a computer-generated, like, person. It's depending on if it, you know, made it easier to light the shot or... It's, it's pretty insane when you think about the fact that this it is a CGI character like this isn't like Thanos is not <laughs> like he, he's completely not real <laughs> like like people forget about that so much process went into that the composition would get better but when you get into the the portal like dude people don't understand they have no clue they have no clue portals opening up Let's go. You've got, you know, everybody on, on, on this side of the portals, you know, with the CG crater, CG fire, CG smoke, CG atmosphere, CG embers, CG dust, CG, you know, ash floating around. And then you've got the portals themselves, which they're their own effect simulation, complex effect simulation. And then you've got all the digis walking out. We just didn't That's want to actually pretty insane. Feel like they're coming, you know, from Kind of this flat space where you see the portal you wanted it to feel like it's a dimensional space you know with marvel 2 it's, it's, it is the shared universe everything's online everything's in the archives so if you need to go back and get contraxia you just go back and get contraxia yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> it's, it's just there right so <laughs> and then we had, and we had kind of built portions of new asgard so we did portions of new asgard so it's like you you've got everything in this world and plus everything from all the other worlds that they're coming from so it's it's you know it's almost incalculable in terms of how much we have is that everyone? What do you want it more? We, we then get into the battle. You get that, that wonderful scene, Cap rallying everyone, he assembles everyone, charge. 
and you have a lot of, you know, actual physical, practical people and effects and stuff. They are charging into. That's cool. That's so cool. Like the practical effects of that film is insane. Cause that that scene looked real. You can tell it looked real too. Like when you first watch it, you could tell them running up. Looks and real. stuff. They are charging into actual physical, practical people, and you have a lot of you know actual physical, practical people and effects and stuff. They are charging into just the hordes of, of of enemies, but those are all VFX, right? Yeah, no, the before and afters and those are the best before and afters ever. In yeah. terms of just, you know, in terms of just the work that we did and just the general comedy of what was actually happening on set. <laughs> so if you look at the shots and there's the the, the shot where we begin kind of the, the oneer, uh, where you come in right when the giant man punches the Leviathan, but <laughs> but you're zooming in on that, you've got you know, all the heroes running forward and you've got your actors there and then there's maybe like six guys and, and that's crazy. Zooming in on that, you've got... When you think about it, it's like all the main actors, the main players are like not CGI, and then all the other ones could possibly be CGI. Like even some of the other MCU like heroes or characters, maybe like Ant-Man was CGI at once, and he wasn't even in the scene at all, you know? It's crazy. Uh, you know, all the heroes running forward, and you've got your actors there, and then there's maybe like six guys in, in motion capture suits running at them. <laughs> yeah. Again, just to kind of let kind of let all the actors know generally where the eye line is for the approaching aliens. But yeah, the, those, those, those <laughs> Dennis's army was kind of weak in that, in that version of the show. He just came with six. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, it's sometimes the befores are just. That's crazy, bro. When you think about that, dude, this. The movie was so good too. They did a good job of their practical effects. Everything is it's like the perfect movie, dude. Like they did it exactly the way it was supposed to be done. This is why Marvel I love you 3000. Bro. He just came with sick. <laughs> Sorry, we're still trying to let it load, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, it's sometimes the befores are just some of the oddly, oddly crude things, but it was something that, yeah, it worked. It got in there. It was like, you know, we were hooking it up. We had the kind of the big shot where the, you kind of went into the, the live action of everybody running together. Then you come up into the air and see Giant Man punch the Leviathan. You go back to CG. And then you come back down again on Panther and Okoye and Shuri. And that was shot as a separate little piece on their set. And then as you pan left, you got a little bit of a CG Drax coming in that pulls you from that, that lands into the live action Dave Bautista that goes on this kind of, I don't know, large punching bag thing, yeah. stunt guys hanging all over <laughs> it, trying to make sure Dave didn't fall off of it. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's, you know, the, the guy in the mocap suit for Korg, which is yep. just all of it. It's this elegant ballet. Mm -hmm. and it's really neat. All right, last but not least, we have to talk about one of the, the moments that made crowds roar, that gives you all the biggest feels. It's when we see all the women of Marvel come together, they're on the battlefield. Um, how much of that was filmed practically? I love that part of the movie, by the way. Like, all those women, like, a lot of people were hating on it. But I thought it was completely necessary, like, especially if they want to set up an A-Force later on, like, maybe a show on Disney+, Plus, or maybe a show, like, in a future movie, like... I don't understand why people were hating on it. I do understand people were hating on Brie Larson in the beginning, so maybe that's why. Maybe they see this as H SJW culture, but it's definitely not. It's definitely not. Wait, how much was added in, and, and how do you bring that all together? Well, we had everyone there. It's like there was like about two or three weeks where and everybody's there. You've got every Avenger from every movie that we've done all <laughs> on set at the same time, and so. I mean, it was it was a great day to go to set because it's like, whoa, there's, there's Pepper, there's you know, there's um, Koye, you know, there's Valkyrie, there's like you know, all these you know, all the characters you love are actually there on set. So when they when they all come together, you know, you, you, the idea of having this kind of passing of the torch, passing the gauntlet, there was a lot of symbolism going on. But then it was also something that it was kind of special to do to bring all the, the women of Marvel together. So when we shot it, you had everybody there. Um, Valkyrie we put in later as a different element because she was put in the back of the Pegasus. You didn't have a practical Pegasus for this? We, we tried, you know, but again, that's probably like three years out. You know, cloning's two <laughs> years out, three years out. It's like, but, uh, but anyway, she, you know, she's landing in the back. So for the most part, we had everybody there. And so you're, you know, we went ahead and shot them. You pull them, you'll add, you know, Pepper's armor later. You'll have, you know, Hope comes in, gives the wasp and, and, and grows. And so you'll actually have Angeline there. Um, kind of walking, you know, 
in the shot and just kind of paint her out and then just kind of you know have the wasp grow into the i like the attitude they had too like while it was happening it looked so cool like they were just like walking with all this like kind of fierceness walking, you know in the shot and just kind of paint her out and then just kind of you know have the wasp grow into, into her size i was sitting in a crowd opening night and i watched the kid in front of me jump up out of his chair arms up in the air, scream, everybody's like crying and laughing and, and cheering. How, how much fun is it for you guys to put all this together and then to see it work? I think it's, it's, it's the best part. You know, it's the, you know, we're all fans too, right? So then, you know, there's all these moments that you, that you want to see. And then and for us, it's something that, you know, you see it in previs and you're kind of like, okay, that's, that's really cool. It's gonna be really great. And so you see all these scenes and pieces and you see them kind of come together in editorial. And, I remember the first time, you know, we kind of cut the portals together and, you know, Jeff Ford called me and he said, take a look, you know, and it's like, you know, get a little tear in the corner of your eye. And then you're kind of like, this is great, this is going to work. And then, then you kind of, and part of the fun is then going in to see what the real audience and it's kind of see, okay, is this going to work? You know, and then and so you're sitting there, and you're like, oh my God, this really works. <laughs> you know, you go opening weekend and then people are just going nuts over it. And it's, it's like... Yeah, I think that's the best part, most rewarding part. That you know, everybody, you know, everybody loved what we did, which is great. Dan, I guess that was the most rewarding part of his job. Like to know that his work is appreciated across the world is insane, including myself. When I I saw the movie three times, that's how amazing I thought it was. And you know what? It's not a thought. It is amazing. I don't care who hates on that movie. It's a great superhero film. It will probably go down in history forever and thanks so much for sharing so much about marvel studios avengers endgame you guys make sure you pick up the film now hell yeah go get that on blu-ray man i gotta go get it on blu-ray I'm, I'm tripping but yeah marvel studios avengers endgame making a final battle hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow